Today we're talking about the number one thing that can prevent the absorption of protein. For those of you that are new to my channel, my name's Annette, I'm a posture specialist, and this channel is dedicated to teaching you the tools between your posture and your health, and today it's all about protein digestion. So when talking about food and digesting food and our food choices, we're not really inclined to think that our posture can actually have an effect on our digestion. And today I wanna to talk about the number one thing that's actually going to prevent you from digesting that protein. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, poor posture causes stress and stress causes cortisol to be released in your body. Now, under normal circumstances, cortisol is actually an anti-inflammatory hormone. However, if you're wearing out your joints unevenly, like having a lower shoulder or a rotated hip, or even like having a forward displacement of your center of gravity, every single joint in your body will be in a state of overcompensation. So posture actually is a hidden cause of stress and it's also a hidden cause of inflammation. Now, how can that prevent us from absorbing amino acids? Well, raised cortisol can actually interfere in the conversion of protein into amino acids. So with excessive cortisol, the amino acids are actually not getting absorbed in the muscle. So you end up getting a catabolic effect of the muscles, which is referred to as muscle wasting. You'll also get muscle atrophy, bone loss, and shrinking of your lymph nodes. So now, if you're unable to break down the proteins into amino acids, you're gonna go through a process called deanimation, meaning that the amino acids are going to be processed by your liver instead. And deanimation causes the liver to break down amino acids into three things, ammonia, hydrogen ions, and carbon skeletons. Now this is where this becomes interesting because carbon skeleton turn amino acids into carbs and carbs is then broken down into glucose. Your body is converting amino acids into sugar. So if you're doing everything right and you're trying to reduce your carbs and eat more protein, your posture may very well be the culprit behind your ability to manage your stress. Now here's what happens if you have too much cortisol, rapid weight gain in your face, in your belly, in your chest, high blood pressure, osteoporosis, muscle weakness, and mood swings. Now, one of the first things that you can do to help manage your stress, aside from breathing and meditation, is to fix your posture. Why? Because poor posture forces you to waste more energy throughout your day and causes energy leaks. Now remember that pain is multifactorial, which means that the source of your pain is stemming from more than just one source. And more often than not, this involves the weight bearing surfaces on your feet. So in other words, your foot posture and the way that your eyes are tracking the environment. Why is this important? Because every single joint in your body is located between your feet and your eyes. And what dictates the synergy between your flexors and your extensors is your nervous system. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is fix your posture on a permanent basis. Now keep in mind that manual therapies don't tend to address the cause, they tend to manage the symptoms. So depending on your needs, whether or not you wanna manage the symptoms or treat the cause, you may wanna take a look into our online brain coach performance certification, where we cover how the nervous system affects your posture in much greater detail. We show you how to test to see if your feet are causing imbalances in your body and how to overcome these imbalances that lead to postural asymmetries. And you'll also learn how to conduct a comprehensive assessment on yourself to determine your individual weakest link. Next, once your posture has been addressed, you also may want to add supplements to your diet. Some of the most effective supplements out there are vitamin D 
and zinc. So let me know in the comments below what you thought of the video and make sure to smash that subscribe button.